What's going on, explorers? Your man, Brandon Abandon, exploring with Urbex Stickland. I got an awesome spot for you guys today. Now, this is a heritage house. It's right in the heart of a beautiful little town. It's right at the middle of an intersection. You can check this out a little bit. It's the most overgrown house that I think I've ever been at. You're gonna see, we're gonna do a little walk around before we get in there, but I know you guys are gonna love this house. I was here a while ago and there was some squatters living here, homeless people, and then I come back again and the place was locked up and I thought maybe the people were just sleeping inside, but now that I come back a third time and the window's broken right out, so I'm not sure what's going on here. We're gonna find out together. Let's check it out, let's get exploring. you guys to see just how overgrown this house is especially for where it is it's almost like they've let it be overgrown so that you can't see it from the intersection check this out I'm gonna show a little bit Check this. Oh, it almost fell through a hole. But see, there's a street right there. This is where your walkway was to get up to your front door. But it's just completely, completely overgrown. There's almost no way to get to the front door. Hopefully there's not going to be anybody inside. Good thing the window's not that high. And unfortunately, I am wearing, <laughs> can you see those? I got my kicks on, my nice shoes. I messed them up a little bit, I hope or not. <laughs> but I scraped them a little bit coming in there. Pretty neat glasses. I got a bag and owl, flat screen. Did I mean people were staying here? Hello? Just an explorer. These candles were all lit up when I was here the last time. <laughs> Empty. It's like an old wooden place. Again, this is supposed to be a heritage home, but then it got taken over by the homeless. They had this sheet up last time, blocking this whole door. Now we're not gonna check that homeless room just yet. See, like, look how old this is. Still the old wood, even on the ceilings. Look at that light. Is that not cool? The old iron, the old steel. See what I mean? All the walls are made out of wood. The floor's all wood. We got the halfway door. Look at 
stucco kind of wall almost. And this is the front door when you can get to it from the front. And they've come and they've closed it right up because the first time I came here, the door was right open and I walked right in. Look how high these ceilings are. different wallpaper, some huge wainscoting, the old closet, See, there's even a whole room up here, the ceilings are very high in here, they gotta be easy 12 feet, more beautiful wainscoting, look how big these old windows are, Just the way it sounds walking through it, it sounds old because of the wood, the wood floors. It's got a very nice old smell to it. Now because of where this house is, and it's getting a little bit later now, this might be a little bit of a shorter video. That's going to be your basement. So we'll go down there, but not just yet. green tile this is it I didn't see any stairs to go upstairs I don't think this house is I think it's a bungalow People are still staying here, so we're not going to. I'm not going to mess around with anything. I'm going to leave all their stuff alone. Is there a door behind any of these? No, it's a window. Those are windows. Very cool though. I didn't even. This up here still got the old wood pillars. Very cool. Too bad it's in the condition that it is. Again, it's sitting in such a beautiful little town that it should not be getting vandalized or lived in. But you could tell it's been a long time that it's been abandoned with the way the wood's all getting pretty nasty. But that's one of the best features about the house is it's old wood. This is what it would have looked like back in the 1800s. Everything made out of wood and iron. Take one more little walk through here.
<laughs> they wallpapered over the light switch. I don't mind that. <laughs> I don't mind the way that looks. See, that window was open at one point. When that front door was open, it was open. So no, there's not going to be an upstairs. Got the hearts in the back. Lots of detail. <laughs> I never noticed they got a couple old seagulls. Some metal goals. Pretty nasty looking toilet. And that's where we come in. Water paradise. One fancy old house to be staying in. Crazy. All right. Feels like it's going to be one of the sketchier basements, but let's check it out. These tiny little things here, like I can't fit. I gotta do. Uh, I gotta squat and walk. Ew. Hey, that cobweb was so thick it felt like a rope. Help me keep out. That sounds about right for this basement, I'll tell you that. It's got a horrible feeling to it. Especially since it's so old. And I don't got nobody watching my back upstairs. Alright, well there's not much down here. I hope you guys don't mind. Just an old bed frame. Hope you guys don't mind that I don't spend too much time down here. Old dehumidifier. I had a funny story behind this dehumidifier, so I gotta take a picture of it. Alright, we're good. No. I think I gotta lie down on the stairs to get up them. That's gonna be it for this very, very old heritage house. Taken over by some squatters. Crazy. I love how old this is, how it looks. All right, explorers, what do you guys think of this spot, eh? Very cool, neat little house. It was a random find. I liked it. I had to show you guys. I'm not sure if you can see it there in the back, but it's gotten dark now, so it went from a day to a night explorer. I hope that's going to be all right for the footage. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love, for the views, for all your support. Brandon Abandon, and I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao. Will you follow or will you leave? Will you be lying?